Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. You're watching Old Car Auto Guy, and we've got some really good updates for you today. First of all, I want to start off with Project Bubbles, and to let you know that I do have four lift spacers for each corner of the vehicle. Each strut will get a two inch lift, which should bring the vehicle up a little bit. Believe it or not, the only place that I could find those was on eBay, and they are coming out of Russia. Yes, Russia. Once we get the lift done, then we'll be able to put some uh, tires on it, and uh, from what I'm gathering, probably the biggest size that I'll be able to go with on this is probably like a 235.75, maybe a 245.70. I'm not quite sure yet what we're going to do, but because they're used tires, uh, we can't be too picky on how big we go uh, for them. The other big update that I wanted to give you on the 36 Dodge. So as you can tell, the hood is back on the car. And one of the things that we ended up having to change was the carburetor. Uh, I told you in a few videos back that we put a different intake on it, uh, which is a Edelbrock Performer RPM intake. And we had the Performer carb on there too, but there was a problem with it. It kept flooding itself. So what we've got on there now is the old carb which was the Dominator. And uh, it seems to be working quite well now. And uh, even though there is still a slight vibration uh, in the motor somewhere, uh, Dad had this out this weekend and was driving it. So I haven't given you guys a sound clip on this car for quite a while. So that's what we're gonna do right now. can hear the cam very well and now that this motor is working almost A1, uh, granted we still have that little bit of a uh, vibration in it, everything works great. So I think uh, we were going to take it for a drive today in this video but the weather's not cooperating, it's spitting and raining off and on so I don't think we're going to take it for a drive. One of the things that Dad and Tim did manage to get hooked up on this car is a backup camera. So as you can see, the backup camera is working. And the benefit of the backup camera in a car like this is A, it's a great aid, just like every other vehicle out there on the market today, for reversing. These cars have really tiny rear view mirrors. When you look behind me, even the back window is so small, you really can't see a whole lot behind you. So having that rear view camera is a great addition to this little hot rod. And there it is, mounted just above the license plate, so it kind of blends in a bit, you can hardly see it. I'm not sure if I showed you this in other videos or not, but we also had, or Dad had, some extra pinstriping done to resemble the old Dodge Brothers emblem on the back trunk, and I think it looks great. So before we get into the shop, Tim's doing a bunch of grinding on the uh, rocker panels on the new shop truck, but I wanted to take you in and show you how far we've gotten so far. We've also got the uh, covers off the top so that we can repair the chip paint here and along here, over there. You're making too much noise in there, but another little update that I wanted to give for you on this vehicle, the uh, Jeep Compass, was that we ordered a transmission. We had the transmission here long before we even had the vehicle back from the auction. Or last Thursday, 
we brought the vehicle in to get the transmission out, realized the one they sent us was the wrong one. So the Jeep will come in next week. This is the correct transmission, and we will put that in and get that back and running again. So every day we are getting closer and closer on several of these little projects we got going on to make sure that we're ready for the winter. Obviously the 36 Dodge, we're not gonna drive that in the winter, but we'll get the transmission in the Jeep and get it for sale. We get the lift kit and the winter tires on the Bubbles project, and we will get the plow all hooked up on the new shop truck once we get all the body work and the paint finished. We, again, we have four brand new tires, and here they are. These are the Cooper Discover Mud and Snow and they've got a really deep lug and we love these tires. We used them for the past three years on our previous shop truck and it's what we're going to use on this one. So. so we are down here at my camper and this past weekend was Thanksgiving weekend and that marks the end of another camping season. So we've got everything all locked up, everything's winterized, all the holes are plugged, the outdoor kitchen is all sealed up. Yet I did forget to set some mouse traps. So that's what we're doing now. So what we're using for mouse traps are these Catchmaster glue boards. And basically they come as a strip like this. And what you do is you uh, fold them all up like so, so the mice can kind of crawl in there. And it's got kind of a little bit of a scent to it. So it should, if it's going to attract them, it's going to do that. But nevertheless, they will stick to it. So you just peel off the sticky backing and uh, fold it up and we're gonna set them down here. So we've also got some dryer sheets and uh, these things have quite a scent to them as well. I don't know if they 100% deter mice, but because of the scent, we're gonna do at least one of two things. One is hopefully deter mice from coming in, but two, keep the camper smelling fresh all winter long so that when we open it up in the spring, it doesn't have that closed up musty smell. So it's got these perforated lines to uh, know where to fold, but it doesn't uh, fold very well because this thing is so thick with the uh, sticky back as well as the uh, whatever it is on there. So you just kind of got to go with the flow a little bit and it will eventually bend where it's supposed to. Oops. See, that stuff is sticky, even this stuff, this paper that sticks to it. Do not get it on your fingers. behind the couch five six seven in the cupboards eight nine underneath the table ten is in the bathroom eleven is right there in the hall and twelve is inside the bunk bed so most traps are set dryer sheets are out this place smells amazing time to shut all the lights off go unplug the power and pull the battery So that's it guys, we're all done for another camping season, time to move on, looking forward to spring. If you are looking for Old Car Auto Guide t-shirts and or hoodies, I will leave 
the link in the description below. Those are on sale. $15 for a t-shirt, $25 for a hoodie, and they have them in multiple colors. So choose wisely. I've got mine ordered and uh, hopefully be wearing them very soon. We do have to make a minimum order before they can ship. So we're hoping by the end of the month that we'll have enough sales to process that order for early November. And the last thing, like I always remind you guys, please stay focused on the windshield and not the rear view mirror. I love you guys, God bless. We'll see you in the next upload. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.